What does the management information systems major contain? And is the mathematics hard? That's the question that we're going to be answering today in this video today, guys. Now let's get to the video. What is up ladder climbers? This is Antoine Wade and in today's video, I will be discussing what does a management information systems major contain and is the mathematics hard? We get a lot of questions on this all the time. Welcome back to the Black Heights channel where we talk about all things related to the skill development in the IT sector. Now, before we get to the video, do me a stone cold favor and stump that like button as it helps us grow the channel. All right, guys, what does a major in the management information systems contain and is the math hard. So we are going to look at the Zach program that I studied when I was in university. And guys, I'm quite old, but the program is still around today. So let's look at the requirements here. To advance to the major. So this is means that you are a freshman or sophomore and you are taking college courses and you have to meet a certain amount of requirements in order for you to get into the school of business and to advance to the major you need to attain a junior standing with 56 credits and before you apply to the major you need to take these courses you need to take an english 101 course which is a college writing and research um class you also need to take a quantitative literacy requirement which is a math 101 so this is the introduction to um to college algebra and algebra isn't difficult at least it wasn't difficult for me i actually passed algebra with an a um then you also have the algebraic literacy which is a little bit more complex guys that is dealing with polynomials uh equations inequalities exponentials so it's basically like an algebra two uh that wasn't difficult for me at all but if you are not strong in math then that will be difficult for you all you need to do is pass it with a D and you're able to get in. As long as you have a cumulative GPA of a 2.5 or higher, you will be able to get into the major. So here's the list of the courses. Like I mentioned, college writing and research, business writing. Those are the, um, the liberal arts courses because you need to become a great communicator. You need to improve your soft skills. And part of improving your soft skills is knowing how to write and knowing how to communicate. Introduction to algebra, algebra literacy too. Another uh, math or a couple math classes that you need to take is quantitative models and business. And that is algebra with other functions as well too. So you think about that, that's more like an algebra three. You're also going to have to take a survey and calculus. So guys, yes, the math can be a bit difficult. I did not get a good grade in this class because calculus was always difficult for me. Calculus and geometry, I struggled with. I could not just understand the concepts in the world of a business. And quite honestly, I haven't used it at all since I left college. But um, it is a course that you need to take and it can be quite difficult. You need to take arts and humanities and social sciences. So you, you see that with a bachelor's of business administration in management information systems, that you are getting a lot of liberal arts courses and it's teaching you how to communicate. Also teaching you the problem solving skills with the algebra and the calculus and things like that. Now this isn't as difficult as the computer science, math, and things like that, but it can be quite difficult. Now, once you have passed all those classes and obtained junior status, then you can apply for the business school. And if you have a 2.25 GPA or higher, that's when you start to take the business foundational courses. And you're gonna then take courses like principles of microeconomics, principles of macroeconomics, introduction to financial accounting. These are, classes that have math in them, but they aren't that difficult. You're gonna be able to understand the math a little bit easier because you're gonna apply that to the real world. It's not just gonna be a theory. So you're gonna have some equations and things like that, but the math in this piece of it isn't gonna be as difficult as it was in your freshman and your sophomore years taking calculus and things like that. Also, you're gonna to have to take courses like public speaking to communicate. You're gonna to have to take things like business and professional communication 
to learn how to communicate. So you see how important being able to communicate is as an MIS major. Now, some of the other business core courses that you're going to have to take is managerial accounting, statistics, modeling, and business analytics. So you're going to learn about statistics and that could be a bit of a challenge for some people as well too. You're gonna to have to take a career in professional development, a uh, couple credits, organizations, principal of finance, principal of marketing, introduction to supply chain, business law, management analysis. In all of these courses, you're going to use some math. However, it isn't going to be as complex as the theory-based math such as algebra and the math such as the calculus and the, um, what was the other course? The quantitative models for business and things like that. And you're going to have to take a international business component. So I took international uh, business. Uh, that was a great course for me. And that was pretty much it. Now, once you get to your core courses, you're going to have to take some of the, the technical courses, such as introduction to business application development object oriented systems development, database management system, systems analyst and design. So this is where you are really learning about the actual technology itself. So before you're learning about the soft skills component of it that we always talk about, you're also learning about the organizational structures in businesses that we always talked about. You're also learning about the overall business itself with the macroeconomics, the finance, the accounting and things like that. And now you're learning about the technical components of uh, of management information systems with these courses that you have here. And these are the four courses that are required. Again, they're, they are introduction to business application development, object oriented systems development, database management systems, system analysis and design. And then you have to take uh, some electives as well. I took information technology practicum uh, because I wanted to learn about the project management and things like that. I also took web development for open business systems and I took uh, web application server development as well too. I took more electives than I needed to because I wanted to be a lot stronger in the software engineering perspective of the major. And that is about it guys. But you know, is math hard? Yes, it can be hard. Did I get a A in, 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 in my math courses? The only A that I got was in algebra courses. So guys, the math can be hard. It isn't as hard as computer science math. It isn't as hard as a master of science or a bachelor of science uh, where they are really putting you through a lot of problem solving and making you take a lot of math and science courses and things that are based on theory. This is more practical. You're gonna be able to use a lot of this math in real world experiences later on once you get into the overall major. So yeah, the math can be a bit difficult, but it isn't anything that you can't do. It is something that you're gonna have to spend some time on, stay up a couple nights in the library, make sure you actually study, unless you're just a genius. I'm not a genius. So I had to put in the effort and I was able to pass it with flying colors. So is the math hard? Yeah, it can be hard. And what are the requirements for the major? I have shared them with you guys. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and leave me a comment on any of these points and these topics. Also, if you like this content, do me another favor and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to be alerted when I drop that new content. And until next time, y'all, Peace.